How's it going, everybody? My name is James Ayers with the two BDMs and a mic, and Christy. Christy Konopaki, BDM Minnesota and North Dakota. Welcome, everybody. So we're here. It's the Sandals BDM Awards and Sales Awards for 2024. So we're going to interview a little kind of mock just for fun for us. It's kind of like our red carpet uh, as everyone's getting ready for the cocktail and our awards show tonight. So Christy and I are going to be taking turns as people are walking down, getting here from Dunn's River and some of the people coming that are staying here at Sandals. Oh, you can see right behind us, we're on the hillside. So you can see how beautiful this is. If you're ever thinking about doing kind of, you know, your clients asking about evening receptions, things like that, groups. Look right behind us. It's a beautiful, beautiful setup. Yes, absolutely. It is beautiful evening as well. Um, you can't see, but I'm wearing a nice long dress. I'm very comfortable. James is in his tux. So everybody is going to be dressed to the tees, and we're super excited to find out a little bit more about tonight and see what's to come. So, Christy, the first people that have arrived, they're right behind us. We're gonna let, I'm going to hand the mic over to you and let you interview them one-on-one, -on -one and they can tell you a little about, about who they're wearing, what they're wearing. Yes. You know, your director's here. Maybe see if you can get a sneak peek on who he's choosing for BDM of the Year. Maybe he'll drop a hint. So, Christy, I'm going to turn it over to you and let you go. Awesome. Well, thanks, James. So I have Michelle Huggins, the Senior Regional Sales Manager. You might recognize her from yesterday's podcast. Michelle, what are you wearing this evening? Oh, I, well, I do not know the name of my dress, but I have a beautiful pink sparkly on with one sleeve and no sleeve. <laughs> That's about all I know. Yeah, but it's. I'm so excited to be here. These are so much fun, and it really just highlights the the life of sandals and being part of it i absolutely love it and to come down here and get all fancy and enjoy some amazing food and drinks with everybody i'm so yeah. excited i know we're gonna have fun do we some are. dancing yeah yeah but um do you also want to say hi to chad yeah hi everybody out there oh yeah look here <laughs> no, I just myself. Now, I'm going to bring the director my personal favorite director mr Chad Kruger, how are you? That's I'm me. good, what yes. I'm good. Thanks for joining us this evening. Yes. Chad, can you give me a rundown on what happened today? Just a quick rundown of the entire day so we can tell our yeah. listeners, you know, what we were up to today. Yeah, there's not a lot I want to talk about. Um, it was a tough day, <laughs> but um, we, we, we had Beach Olympics. And, and you know, I, I, I will be looking for a recount at some point in time <laughs> in, in the voting process, but it was awesome. We were able to go to Pearly Beach, which is, which is a private beach kind of in between uh, Sandals Duns River and Sandals Ochi. Um, and teams from all around the world, from Latin America and UK and everybody competed. We all had our matching stuff on and just, we, we got to hang out at the beach all day and participate in some good team bonding events. And you know, sometimes those competitive juices start flowing, Christy, and um, you know, it just happens, but it, it's all been fun. and leads up to tonight's awards night for uh, a lot of fun stuff that's going to be happening. Absolutely. And what Chad failed to mention, you know, James did mention that it's an awards night. They're giving out BDM of the year. Yeah. You know, he forgot to mention Christy Konopaki. Now, yeah. that is obviously a joke. That is a joke. <laughs> so, I mean, ultimately, I, you, you, there is a BDM that's going to win. Of course. That's so what that's, there, that's what award. I'm leaving at. A, yeah. a, I promise you a BDM will go home tonight being the BDM of the year. Now tell me what other type of awards are given out at these events? Yeah, so a lot of it we kind of just base it off of how the, all the different individual territories have done, but we also do, um, you know, it just team awards as well too. Just BDMs that really exemplify the true position of being a business development manager, going above and beyond and really being there for their advisors and doing different things. So it, it, it's, it's going to be a fun, fun packed night and we're excited for it. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Chad. We are so excited for this evening and what's in store. Thank awesome. you. Thanks, everybody. You're welcome. All right. Next up, I see Mr. Social Media, Joe Vanderhoff. Come on down. All right, I'm going to take this over just because, you know, Christy, I don't think you guys placed today, right? Is that what Chad said? Did you guys come in a... So Beach Olympics today, just just so you know, the... A recount. A recount. Yes, we won. We won by 130 points. Elbow, right elbow, twist. Uh, and, uh, the 
So the beach, the beach Olympics today were a lot of fun. Of course, the Western Region team was able to take home the prize. We kind of crushed it, and uh, you know. So Joe, recap the day a little bit yourself. You know, Beach Olympics. You know what you did there because if you do follow, or if you don't follow Joe, make sure you follow him on social media. Even though I know you're not technically the social media guy, right, more of right, like the right. trainer. So I don't want to misconstrue right. here. Amazing. But you took a lot of content today, right, Joe? Yeah. So it was a really fun day. We started out like. Chad said a uh, beach uh, team building. So there was hula hoops. There was the cowboy um, toss. What is it? Cowboy. Um, what is the, the game we call it? Cowboy something or other. Anyway, we played a lot of games. So I got to be included in the Western region because I live in Texas still. So with that being said, the gray team, which we were one, uh, the whole challenge, there were several challenges. But in the meantime, I got the drone up. So you guys will see that footage later. The drone. I was running around with a 360 camera. There was some dance competitions as well lots of stuff going on and it was a blast and i think that was the first time we've actually got to do that uh, on a global scale so now joe just like uh, myself we started about the same time about five years ago right so yeah. this is our third sales conference yes. but only our second global sales conference and global meaning you know people from all over the uk and canada and, and europe and latin america they're all here plus all the sales team what are you expecting tonight? I know the first one we did was in Turks and Caicos 2019. We were outside. Last year we were in Emerald Bay. We were inside again. And again tonight we're outside. Of course, you don't see the stage that we're going to be on. But for dinner and the stage, it's all over top of the pool. So what's your expectation tonight, Joe? What kind of things do you think are going to happen? Uh, there'll be awards. <laughs> the, the food's going to be amazing. But it's a great time. Like Everybody gets together. And like James was saying, it's the first time we've done a global one since 2019. So. For me, it's just getting to see everyone again and, and being able to spend so much time with the uh, the BDMs this year on different regions. I know more people, and it's like kind of a connection, and we all kind of needed that after that many years of not getting together. So uh, that's what I'm looking forward to. Yeah. I think it'll be great. So, Joe, I'll let you go and enjoy all your right. drink. I know she's been patiently yeah. waiting. We have a server patiently waiting over here holding, holding on to Joe's uh, cocktail as he's waiting. So, Christy, go ahead and whenever you're ready, come back. No, no, no. I got to, we got some waters here. Um, I don't know if Garth would, would like us, you know, pounding back cocktails on, <laughs> on camera yet. So it looks like we have some people coming. Can you yeah. tell? Is this some people from your team? Or who do, who do we got walking down the aisle here? Is that? I don't have my glasses on, so I can't quite see. <laughs> but as some people are walking, oh, it's Don. Is that Don Bolte? All right. So, Christy, I am going to let you interview Don and let two amazing ladies be on camera at the same time. Yeah. Well, we are just waiting for a couple more ladies to come on through. Everybody's slowly rolling in. And one second. I've got the most beautiful Don Bolte come on, on in here. Camera's over here. Don, tell me, where is this beautiful dress from? It is actually from Vineyard Vines. You know, people often think about Vineyard Vines for golf wear and active wear, but they have great ladies' dresses. Well, it really makes you shine in that, that's for sure. Now, what are you most excited for this evening? I'm excited to see the winners. You know, it's been such an amazing year. So many things have happened in 2023 with us on the sales team, and I'm really anxious to see who our winners are tonight. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Don. Thank you so much. Good luck, winners. Thank you. I've got another sparkly powerhouse woman coming in here. And I'm going to let you introduce yourself because I simply cannot pronounce her last name. Hi, that's fair. I'm Carly Stonecipher. I'm the Regional Director of Sales for the Northeast. Woohoo! Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Now tell me, where is your beautiful, sh also shiny dress from? Oh, okay, Fit Check. We're wearing TJ Maxx, TJ Maxx, Fitbit, Red Lane Spa, awesome. <laughs> and Etsy. Excellent. Now, Carly, what are you looking forward to most this evening? Oh, I'm looking forward to my team feeling together and rewarded. They haven't had anything like this in four years. So they're all really excited and dressed up, and I'm excited to celebrate them today. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for popping on for two BDMs and a mic. Thank you. Now, I'm going to let James take this one over. We have a, another very special guest hopping on here. All right, of course, anyone in the Western region, he needs no introduction. You all know who he is, and even outside the Western region. You know, I'll bring him in, Mr. David Ridge. So before I ask you some questions here, David, 
Uh, don't forget the camera is up here, so okay. don't look down at the monitor. We'll back up a little bit because you're very tall, sir. So, first of all, explain your look. My look? Well, tonight I'm going with Zara, and I've capped it off with um, some Ferragamo shoes. Zara, of course, David is a big proponent of Zara. Always, always. Now, David, we had Chad Kruger stop by first. He was our first guest tonight, kind of talking about his things. And we happened to discuss the events of the day. Now, most of the viewers that have been following us right now, they know that the Western Region team won so for the Beach Olympics, so we did all that. Can you explain us what your thoughts were at the start of the day, if you thought that your team was going to be able to take it home, and if you were proud of us at the end? Absolutely, James. You know... In sales, we're always very competitive, right? And in being competitive, the best part about at the end of the journey, you know, when you set your goals and you've achieved your goals, the best part is the celebration, which now we will be. You know, today at the Beach Olympics, one of the things I said, and you know me, I'm a sports guy, right? And I've watched all these different teams, whether it's football, whether it's basketball, the reality is, when you play with your heart and you're just playing and having fun, there's nothing you cannot achieve. I have to tell you, I was so proud of my team today because they have, they have exceeded expectations. And of course, I'm sure everyone has heard that we have won the awards at the Beach Olympics. So I'm so very, very proud of them. I'm a proud papa right now, but it was an amazing event. It allowed us the opportunity to really just come together as a team and not only on the Western region but also to bond with the other teams across Latin America, Europe, Canada. It was an excellent and not to mention the food. The food oh, was amazing. Food. The food was amazing today. Absolutely. So David before I let you go of course tonight the big sales awards night that we always look forward to every year for the BDMs and, and all the sales team. Chad tried to give us a little sneak peek on what was going to go on with his team. You know, we talk about BDMs of the year, different kind of awards. There's team awards as far as total things. What are you? What are your expectations for tonight, and what kind of things do you think are going to happen? And what kind of awards are you giving away? Well, as you mentioned, there are awards such as Outstanding Team Player and, of course, the BDM of the Year for the respective um, regions. But the award that I'm looking forward to is the team award, the team for the Western region of having the highest growth across North America. And I can't wait for that award because collectively as a team, every single person on the team has contributed to this award. And we could not have done this without the help of the travel advisors. So it transcends to the travel advisors. We work along with them they send their clients to the resort and has allowed us this opportunity to cap this award tonight. So I'm so excited for this awards and I don't know, I think I might actually lose control on stage when I get up there to accept this award, but I'm so looking forward to that. David, I'm super excited about tonight. I'm excited about the whole rest of the year. Uh, I think everything looks amazing. I think the team here at Sandals Ochi, I think you'll agree, has done a phenomenal job, uh, especially over at Dunn's River as well, just getting the team members back and forth. And, of course, the cocktail tonight and the stage is going to look fantastic. So we're very, very, very excited, and I, I'm sure you agree with the same. Definitely. And, you know, as I was getting dressed to come down tonight, I was thinking, because we usually compare, you know, different events, different awards, and I was thinking to myself that this has got to be one of the best global sales conferences ever. The problem with that is, and I'm going to let Gail know who actually organized this event. The, pro the problem with that is, and usually in sales, you know, you achieve one goal, you set a higher bar. So the challenge is going to be, how will she exceed this expectation? How she will she exceed this performance tonight? Because the bar has been set and she has done an incredible job and it has been the best global sales conference ever, bar none. Can I, can I drop your mic? Yeah. Mic drop? <laughs> Listen, I, if you, if you want to buy me a new one, no. No, no I won't drop your mic. <laughs> but no, absolutely. Everything has been perfect. The weather, the food, the, the, the um, ambience, the people. Absolutely amazing. Well, David, I'll let you go. Enjoy the rest of the cocktail hour. 
Uh, we're going to bring Christy back over. If you can, if you can go find my co-host somewhere over there, bring Christy back over. But again, we're super excited about everything that happened tonight. We've been excited about all this. And again, this isn't achievable without you guys, you as the travel advisors, you make this possible for us. Christy is going to come back in here. And I, Christy, there are some more people coming in. So if you want to see if you can snag someone, I'm going to give the mic back to you and let you take over for a while. Sure thing. Thanks, James. Well, I'm going to bring uh, Renee Battle into the scene here. She is the business development manager for um, Southern Illinois as well as a part of Chicago. Good evening, Renee. How are you tonight? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. What are you most excited for this evening? Ooh, I'm excited to see who's winning what this evening. Woo woo. Now tell me, Renee, I'll tell you, she's on the Midwest team with myself and she is a fashionista. Renee, can you tell me what you're wearing this evening? Yes, I am wearing Express Dress, Express Clutch, and all those shoes. Awesome. Thank you, my dear. I can't wait to see you later. I've got a couple more of my Midwest teammates here, and I am going to bring in... Come on in. Actually, I've got a couple from the Southeast team. So people are rolling in. Welcome. Welcome to two BDMs and a mic. I'm good. How are you, ladies? Good. Thank you. Well, where are your dresses from? Uh, this is Lulu's, and then the shoes are Betsy Johnson. Love it. And you? I actually got mine from Target. You can always dress everything up. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, do me a favor and also introduce yourselves to our listeners. So, I'm Swa Winkler. I'm the North Florida BDM. I'm Savannah Riley. I am the BDM in Maryland and Delaware. Awesome. The Southeast team. The Southeast ladies. And now I need one th more thing from you. What are you most excited for tonight? The award ceremonies. <laughs> yes, surely, truly. Yeah. To see and to celebrate and hopefully we'll be celebrated as right. well. <laughs> Woohoo, right? Yeah, I'm also excited just for the continuing of networking. We've got so many different teams here that we can see what everybody else is doing in their regions and be able to congratulate everyone. So I love that. I love that. I just really love connecting with people from other teams too. It's so nice to see everybody dressed up and like you said, networking, you know, getting to know each other. I'm like, hey, Hey, what are you doing that works with right. your traveling? Yeah. Oh, yeah, because it's always what works for you might not work for someone else, but maybe they never tried it. It's always worth a shot. So. Awesome. Well, thank you, ladies. Thanks for thank popping you. on. Thank Cheers. <laughs> All right. I have my, I like to call her my work BFF. This is Danielle Burnett from Michigan. Danielle, can you tell me what you're most excited for this evening? Um, I'm excited to see everybody all dressed up, looking nice and spiffy. Nice and spiffy. And eating. <laughs> the, what do you hope you're being served tonight? What, what, what are you wanting to eat? Hmm, lobster tail. If I could have anything in the world, I want lobster tail. Girl, you and me both. <laughs> and tell me, where is your dress? Give me a fit check. Where is your dress from? Ooh, fit check. Okay, so Macy's. And then, you can't even see it, but Betsy Johnson shoes. Cute. Awesome. Well, thank you. I can't wait to have a drink with you after this is all over awesome. and enjoy some time. But thank you for hopping on two BDMs and a mic. Thank you. We still have more people rolling in. We are having so much fun. And now I've got, please introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Liz Perky. I'm the regional director for the Southeast region. Thank you for joining us on 2BDMs and a mic. Now tell me, what are you most looking forward to this evening? I'm looking forward to all of the winners and congratulating the winners for a really, really job well done in 2024. Awesome. Yes. So we had a little bit of a competition. We already talked about it a little bit. Now I want to hear your perspective about the Southeast team and, you know, how did today go for you? Today was absolutely amazing. We didn't win any of the challenges, but I think we won with costumes. So check out our Instagram page and Facebook page and see what the Southeast team wore. You have to tell the uh, listeners, what, where can they find you on social so media? So we are on Unique Vacation Southeast Sales Team. Yes. Awesome. So I did see that you were the lizards. Is right. that correct? That's correct. Yes. My name is Liz. We were the Southeast lizards, right? We had some fun. I thought that was so yeah. creative. I mean, one of the BDMs was even wearing a lizard mask. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You might see that again tonight, too. 
Awesome. Maybe you guys should interview the lizard. Yes, I'm going to wait for him to come through here. Good. <laughs> All right, Liz, well, thank you so you much for welcome. popping on. You're welcome, you guys are doing a great job. Thank you. I'm going to let my partner in crime come on in. And it is Amanda Funk. Some of you have might have seen us doing our dual webinars. We love that. But I'm going to let you introduce yourself. Sure. So I'm Amanda Funk. I work in Central and Eastern Tennessee. Fell in love with sandals a few years ago, and I'm telling you what, it was the best decision I ever made. Oh, today was... Was it not the most perfect day? I, I have to steal the mic. Um, so I have a little bit of a story. So we had a team building exercise at the end of our competition today. And our team is, I'll tell you, I believe it's one of the closest knit teams within this, this industry. The whole industry. Uh, we were sitting in a circle together, holding hands to look like we were in unity to show off our sandal sign. And Amanda Funk just started tearing up because how close we were as a team. I mean, let's not make me tear up right now, but it was such a special moment. The tide, I will tear up. <laughs> now, Amanda, you have to tell me, I'm going to do, we're doing a fit check. So where's your outfit from? Gosh, well, Amazon, where all outfits are from. <laughs> I love that. Well, Amanda, thank you so much for joining us this evening and handing it over to James. All right, guys, I know you'd probably rather listen to Christy, but I'm going to come back on. It is two mediums. And, you know, for those of my YouTube friends back home that make fun of me all the time, two mediums and a mic, we do only have one mic tonight, which is why we're trading it off. And I've got our national manager, national sales manager for Dive. Is that the actual type? National Manager of Dive Sales. I, I will never remember the actual order of the title. So tell us a little bit about what you're excited, you know, what you're wearing tonight. We've been asking everybody where you get, who's your look from as, as our little mock red carpet. Okay, so um, the look is a la Ross. Because, <laughs> you know, we like, to, we like to keep things nice and easy. I've, I can wobble in this dress, so it makes it, it, makes it very good first impression. Plus, my, my jewel tones, my blues. Yeah. It, it works for me. Now listen, of course, you know I'm not the biggest diver or yet. diver at all. I, listen, you keep saying yeah, but I don't, I don't, most of my advisors know I'm terrified, probably not going to happen. But my question to you, the event tonight, very exciting, very. the cocktail, the event, but I do know that you've set up a dive tomorrow. So my question to you is, what are you more excited about, diving tomorrow morning or the sales awards tonight? I'm always excited to be at the sales awards to support the rest of the team. Like this year, I'm here just to be the everybody's cheerleader for 2023, 2024. And that's really the main goal is just to see everybody celebrate all of their hard work. The BDMs are on the ground every single day and they deserve to be recognized more than we can do in one night. But tonight's going to be really special for everybody, I think. I'm, I'm, I'm a little excited about the dive too, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I figured you were, I, 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 wasn't, I, I wasn't quite sure if you were more excited about the diver here, but I, I think tonight, tonight, you know, all of the directors have said it's one of the most beautiful sales awards nights that we've had. Uh, I think Gail, we can all say she knocked it, knocked it out of the park. You know, David Ridge said earlier, she set the bar so high, how is she going to up this next year? But I, if you know Gail, she always does. we will think back to this next year, wherever we are, I'm sure we'll all be going. Gail set the bar so high. How is she going to compete? Because we said that last year, right? And here we are, and it's completely different. So I'm excited, Melissa. We will let you go get some drinks, and we will try to bring some more people. If I can steal, Miss, if you can kick over Ashley Cooker to me. So we've got Ashley Cooker from the Northeast team out of the Philadelphia area. The senior, it is live. Are you going? Are you going to be okay with that? All right. All right. So the camera is up there behind the light so it's very even though we look dark there is a very bright light <laughs> on our face so partners. Ashley the first question we've been asking everybody is who are you wearing oh who am I wearing my dress is from Lulu's so nice online dress store um, I bought it for this event but I'll probably also wear it for my friend's wedding in London in October so it's gonna be like multi-use did you just drop a London flex on everybody? Like, when I'm in London, well, I, I will never, be... I've never been to Europe, so I'm going to go for the first time, and I'm really excited. All right, Ashley. So, in the past, you were just a basic BDM, like Christy and I. 
So a little bit more, a little bit more pressure that coming into things like this tonight as on the management team. What kind of expectations do you have for people on your team, from your for your overall team? Because I know there's some team awards tonight. What are you expecting? And can you maybe give us a hint at who could be taking away some hardware from your team? Oh, okay. So I don't want to give anything away, but I'm super excited for this year because I get to pass the National BDM of the Year crown off to one of my amazing colleagues who so very well deserves it. I'm really excited for my team as well. And actually all of the teams across Unique Vacations, we've had a record year this year. So we're super excited to celebrate all of the accomplishments. James, I don't want to give away any, you know, surprises or anything like that. Being on the leadership, you know, might have a little bit of insider info or intel. But we can't wait to share everything with you guys. We're so excited to award our well, hardworking, well-deserved BDMs to get all of their awards tonight and just celebrate such an amazing year. And we couldn't have done it without all of you guys. So Travel Partners, thank you so, so much. So that is something I was going to ask. The last question I had for you, Ashley, was we talk about the Travel Partners, and we've said it multiple times. Thank you guys so much. This doesn't happen without you. But what does it mean to you that we're able to put something on like this because of the travel advisors? And especially, I know your territory in the whole Northeast has really, really crushed it. There's a lot of cool things coming to the Northeast area and as far as sandals branding very soon. We can't give it away, but there's just a lot going on. So what does that mean to you that you come from such a passionate area that the, the clients and the guests and the advisors and everybody is so excited to be a part of the sandals family? So it means the world to me because shout out to all of my Philadelphia travel advisors. Woo woo, go birds, go birds, you're my people. <laughs> we wouldn't be here without you guys. When you are successful, we're successful. So we're celebrating all of our mutual success this evening. I mean, James, I can't wait. Our travel advisors mean the world to us. And a couple things that we learned yesterday during the business session with all the executives is we talked about the ecosystem of a booking and how it means more than just a booking. And there's so many people throughout the Caribbean community that are affected by the booking. And you all, it means the world that you're able to contribute to that and be a part of the Caribbean success. Thank you so much, Ashley. I'll let you guys have a fun night. And go steal Miss Ashley Beatty for me because this was this was one of her ideas and she is she is not getting away. Let's go, Beatty. We're we're gonna bring we're listen, we're gonna bring Ashley Beatty over here because this is this red carpet idea was was one of her Listen, Miss Ashley, we are live. And this is this is one of your ideas. You sparked it today, then we talked about it. So one of the first things I have for you is Kind of introduce yourself, what area you're from. For those that don't know, there's obviously a lot of Midwest and Western and region area people watching. So where are you from, your title, and all that? Come a little closer. And okay. the camera's up there. All right. Sorry. So I'm Ashley Beatty. I am the associate director for the Northeast region. I'm born and raised in Pittsburgh. What else? What and what are you wearing? Who are you wearing? That's what we've been asking everybody today. Great question. I don't know who I'm wearing, but I got it for 25 bucks at a thrift store. Hey, wow. Well done. Well done. Thrift shopping is alive and well. So we've been asking a lot of the management, management t about the event today. I know there was a big competition today at the beach. What are your thoughts and how proud of you are your team? I know maybe not the outcome that you were hoping for because you're extremely competitive. I know that. But are you still proud of everything that they did? I'm proud of everyone and what everyone did. I'm still proud of my team. We're going to win next year. Thank you so much, Ashley. I'll let you enjoy the night right. and you guys have a good time. And we're going to bring over Mr. Ian. Ian Brown, our senior regional sales manager in the Western region. Ian. What's up, James? One of the things we want to talk about, we've asked Chad, we've asked David, we talked about the Beach Olympics today. I want to, I want to get your take on what you thought happened. I know the Western Region team, we are very disheartened. We came out of the gates really, really, really slow. Uh, I think right before lunch, you and I had almost kind of given up and just assumed we were not going to win. But what do you think t changed about the day that was able to help us get through it? Well, James, you're right. We had a pretty rough start, but I think uh, after lunch, we had a little bit of a pep talk and decided we need to step in a little bit. And if I remember correctly, we won every event after that. So not too bad of a way to end the day, right? Absolutely. You know, it was great. And, and one thing I like to talk about is, especially you and David and, and myself, obviously, we're overly competitive sometimes, probably maybe not even the healthiest of, of competitiveness. But I think it's a real testament. We, we talk about how competitive our advisors are in the Western region. And I think... 
Would you agree that we kind of channeled some of their energy oh, yeah. today because we didn't want to let them down? Let me just say, if you guys could channel half of the competitiveness that the West brought today, and I mean, this was global sales, so it wasn't just us against you know the Midwest and Northeast. I mean, we were up against Latin America, UK, Europe, I mean, Canada, everyone. So just if you can channel half of that competitiveness, I think you'll be in great shape for 2024. Ian, thank you so much. Last question I have for you is, what are your expectations tonight for team awards? I know the Western region and all the other regions are competing against some, some awards. <laughs> Where do you expect the Western region to come in? And what kind of awards are you and David giving out uh, regionally as well? Well, I would love another clean sweep, but I'm not certain that's going to happen. I do, I do know that we, the Western region is going to be up for a couple of awards, and I've got a good feeling about both of those. But we will be giving out um, BDM of the year, uh, most outstanding team player of the year. So a lot of exciting things tonight. All right, Ian, thank you so much. We will let you enjoy your cocktail. And I'm going to steal Miss Raven, who is our sales manager over at Beaches Ocho Rios. So, Raven, your camera is up here. So look up there. And the first question we're going to ask you is, who are you wearing? Where did you get it from? What's going on? This is the red carpet event. we got to ask all these questions. I actually don't know. I do not know, but I bought it from a clothing store right here in Jamaica. So we do have good taste. Can you so it's a local. It's local. So you can just... It is local. Well, it's not local made, but it's a local store that I got it from. Yeah? But I'm sorry, I don't know. <laughs> so Raven, is, is this your first uh, global sales conference that you've come to as a sales manager? Yes, most definitely. I started in April, so this is my very first and it won't be one of many, right? So I know being over at Beaches Ochi, a lot of changes we heard at the conference yesterday. We talked a little bit about it on our podcast yesterday, so if you didn't see that, we did give a few tips. Now, obviously, we can't give everything away because you never things are always soon come here in Jamaica, and, and we're not sure what's going on. But as, as the sales manager over there, are you excited about that the future seems very, very bright? I mean, I'm currently excited and of course with all the plans that we have in place i'll definitely be much more excited and there's a lot to come so i do hope that we have your support and we have much traction coming in but there is a lot many things a plethora of things planned and we will be doing it and we are looking forward to that as well we highly anticipate that all right raven so last question i have before i let you get away is what has been your favorite moment so far from the conference was it the conference the beach olympics or are you looking forward to tonight the most I love tonight because we're looking pretty tonight, but today at the, at the competition, that was brilliant. It was nice team bonding, especially with you, James, a character he is, but we, it was nice. It was nice being around everybody. It was brilliant being around everybody. We loved the bonding. We loved being around persons and knowing each other in different types of ways other than professional. Of course, we keep it professional always, but just having that entire experience was really good. It shows that we can have fun and also be professional all the time. And beaches, beaches is all fun. So I expect everybody to come and see that we are the resort for everyone, our Caribbean playground. Well, Raven, you enjoy your cocktail hour as we get ready for the awards. And if you can bring my co-host back over to me. Guys, we're going to wrap this up. It has been really, really great talking with you and kind of talking to some of the people. You can see a little bit behind me. It's very dark, but you can see behind me. It's a lot of stuff. We've got a fire dancer going on back there. We're very excited. Of course, Christy and I want to try to enjoy the night a little bit as well. So, Christy, as we wrap up, do you have any final words that you would like to say to the advisors? Advisors, just thank you so much for tuning in. We really appreciate that. We would not be able to do this without you. So please keep listening. And remember, you can find us on YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, live on the Midwest team, as well as on the Western team every Monday, except obviously during this week, it's been a little spur of the moment when James and I are like, hey, you want to do a podcast in an hour and he's like yeah sure and I'm like perfect let's go let's go do it so but thank you again we wouldn't be able to do this without you and you know just good luck to all the BDMs out there I'm excited to see what's to come again I, I feel the same way this again I've said this a hundred times already this is not possible without you travel advisors so we appreciate everything that you have done for us the continued support that you give us and we hope to be able to return the favor to you and give you continued support as well. So thank you guys. It has been live from Jamaica here at Sandals Ochi Beach Resort. We're going to enjoy the cocktail. Hopefully we will let you guys know the winners of the awards later on tonight. But again, thank you guys so much and you guys have a great rest of the night. Bye-bye. <laughs>